Tomorrow, this young man is marking a big milestone. Chancellor Lee Adams turns 18 years old. We've shared much of his life story with you. In 1999, then Carolina Panther Ray Carruth conspired to kill his pregnant girlfriend, Sharika Adams. She died, and their son, Chancellor, survived but was born premature with cerebral palsy. New tonight, anchor Erica Bryant got an exclusive look at their new home here in Charlotte that Chancellor shares with his remarkable grandmother, who's making big plans as he becomes an adult. How old are you going to be? Eighteen. Eighteen, that's right. The boy who some plotted to kill is now a young man. Well. Andy says he's doing well. With his grandmother by his side, they're now settling into a new home. A picture of his mother, Sharika, just inside the front door. Lee, you're going to show him your room? Yeah. His room is filled with things that make him smile. Are those your trophies for Wrong. Mighty Riders? Sandra Adams calls the new house a blessing. You know what? I love no. you. Yeah. It has a new lift in case Chancellor goes upstairs, but now both of their bedrooms are on the main level. And we're downstairs. Chancellor is not so much strain on Chancellor. It's, it was just a sigh of relief. She says it was a burden lifted by donors from all over the world, organized by John Embry, now a coach with the San Francisco 49ers. People helping, whether it was $10, $50, we had people, you know, make, you know, $50,000, $60,000 donations. So Embry had coached had a, at the University of Colorado, where young Ray Carruth, Chancellor Lee's father, played football in college. Embry learned Lee's story after Carruth went to prison and through his nonprofit raised $150,000 for Sandra and Lee's yeah. new home. So whatever she wants to do, whatever Lee needs, that's how I see my role. I can't thank each and every donor enough for what they did. You know, More support is needed as Lee enters the next phase of life. He's getting a portable speech communication device so he can initiate conversations. In 2019, he'll graduate from high school. Sandra Adams sees him taking transitional living courses at UNCC or Central Piedmont and then getting a job. I can see Lee going into some kind of vocational program because I think he wants to be a contributing member of society. Sandra also plans to use Lee's love of hats as a way to promote love in families. What's the, what's the business that you're going to do on your own, Lee? We, we. Lee's Lids. We're going to um, have a nonprofit that's Lee's Lids, and we're putting a lid on domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Sandra Adams says she plans to write to Ray Carruth to get on a list to visit him in prison. She has said repeatedly that she forgives him and the other men who were involved in her daughter's death. She genuinely wants Lee to get to know his father. Now she is an incredible woman. Uh, one question though, what, what will happen when she's no longer able to care for Lee like she does so lovingly now? Yeah, she told me she wants to live long and live strong, but <laughs> she also does have a plan yeah. that in case something happens, close relatives have agreed to take over his care. Yeah. Thank you so much, Erica, and we all wish Chancellor Lee a very mm -hmm. happy 18th birthday. Mm -hmm. If you would like to help Sandra and Lee through John Embry's nonprofit, go to WSOCTV.com and just look for Erica's report. It has a link plus more clips from her interview.